Because I, I'm sure that today every Ghanaian's fundamental concern is that this country is very, very insecure. In fact, when you leave and go for work, it is by the grace of Almighty God that you get back to your house. Within the last one, two months, look at the number of unexplained murders. From the woman who was murdered, the bank manager, through to the, the, the uh, uh, official who was murdered at Bunkrugu for going home for, for holidays, to the unexplained murder of our colleague journalist for carrying out his uh, legitimate duties. Many unexplained murders tie it in with the kidnappings that are going on. That now your children go to school and they don't return. Your wife goes to market, she doesn't return. Um, when, since, in, 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 at what stage of our nation's history have we seen this level of insecurity? We have never experienced this insecurity, this kind of insecurity in, in, our, in our country at any point in time until the arrival of this government for this business. Okay? Businessmen, you go to the port. Sorry, you are media people. You go to the port and hear what the business people are saying. Their businesses are collapsing. That at the beginning of this year, the dollar is in a runaway. Meanwhile, these people are promised us that they had arrested the dollar and it's in jail. You see, businesses are collapsing. Jobs cannot be created. People are losing their jobs. No mean a person, my chairman of my committee, Honorable Kennedy of Japan, has said it, and he's, and he's a chairman I respect. He speaks his mind. He said that he went to the Tamar enclave and uh, he, he, he wept. The number of jobs that are being lost. You see? So, so, my brother, we are in a state of hopelessness because the government is hopelessly uninspiring. Thank you.